Hello everybody, um, my name is Amanda Alice and I'm from the Floristry Department at Colin Cambria. Um, obviously I haven't got an awful lot of stuff in my garden and obviously we're in a difficult time at the moment. So all I have in my garden are some daffodils. On my walk I found a little bit of pussy willow and a few ivies branches that were just hanging over the side waiting for me to cut them. Um, so obviously if you can get anything like this, this is a real basic, if you've got a nice garden you might have a lot more than me. So I'm going to make a hand tide, then I'm going to show you a cheat hand tide on another video. So I'll do two separate videos. So this is the, the harder hand tide. So I've stripped all my materials off, so they're nice and uh, clean at the bottom. I've got some bits that are short, but those short bits don't matter, they'll be really helpful. So, to start my hand tied off, I'm going to start with a piece of greenery, or ivy as it is, uh, my pussy will, and I've just twisted those round. Now, they're actually straight in my hand. Now, the all, other good thing is I've actually got a piece of twine ready, so if you've got a piece of string or some twine at home, that's great. And I'm going to start by putting one daffodil in, straight. Now I'm going to start adding a few more pieces of foliage. I haven't got a lot because there isn't a lot where I live, uh, believe it or not, and I am in uh, Snowdonia National Park and there's still not a lot that I can, I can pick. So I'm now going to put them on a slight angle. So as I put this one in at a slight angle, can you see my hands bringing it across? I'm lifting my fingers up and tucking them in. And I'm going to turn it round, twist and turn it round. So I'm going to put it in at an angle. Tuck it under my fingers, twist and turn it round. Now hopefully you should start seeing a spiral stem at the bottom. So I'm going to add some little ivy branches in at the angle, turn it round. In at the angle, turn it round. And in the end you get a little bit of a rhythm for it. And it becomes a little bit of therapy for your uh, for the afternoon so I'm just giving a little so you can see there a little bit more foliage as I said you don't have to have loads but it does help it could be conifer if you're lucky enough to have five burnham in your garden just going to add again a few more bits on an angle and keep turning it round it's like a one-way system in at an angle turn it round and you can see but they're all spacing out and I'm just on my last one there and I'm just going to put that last bit of foliage in and then with my twine that I've got I'm just going to twist now the most importantly can you see a nice spiral stem there so I've got my twine always important to look after your teeth because you need those as well I'm just going to put that down on the paper tie it into a knot so it's nice and secure, chop the twine off and then I'm just going to put my, cut my stems that are all similar length to the foliage that I've used as well and it's nice and tidy like so. Get yourself a vase or a jug, put them in and there you have a lovely hand tidy vase.